beaten path is about a 26 mile point to point hike from the outskirts of Cook City to the outskirts of Red Lodge in Montana. Goes through the Absaroka Beartooth Wilderness and I'm trying to hike it is an out and back hike simply because that's easier for uh, car logistics over about two, two and a half days. So let's uh, see what's in store. It's starting out nice and windy here. Mile one, well, mile one half, but made it to the wilderness. probably live off the land with how many huckleberries there are out here. Still quite windy. Still climbing uphill to the plateau. But we're on the beaten path. This is my third time doing this trail. It's a beautiful trail. I actually sat the FKT more to be more, you know, it's my third time on this trail. It's a beautiful trail. In fact, last year, almost exactly a year ago, I set the record on this trail. Just coming up here on Rainbow Lake, and bam! More huckleberries. And we got Rainbow Lake here. This one's gorgeous as well. I would say this is not a terrible way to spend a day, but that's just me. And now I'm making my way along Lake of Falls. Sort of a dumb name if you ask me, but that's what they went with. Another beautiful lake up here. It's amazing how this trail was chiseled into the rock wall makes it just incredible it's still very windy it's about 11 30 day one well this really isn't bad along this rocky shelf next to lake of falls dumb name once again but i didn't name it if it were me i would name it probably jeffrey's lake it seems fitting Wow, this is just incredible. Coming around this corner, wow. It's like we're on the edge of the world. It's amazing. Llamas. It's something new out here, I guess. Dugan Lake here. Another pristine alpine lake. I'm 
coming up here on the magnificent Impassi Falls. It's quite windy. The magnificent waterfall. Twin Lakes Outlet here. Snow up high, very sunny day, still a little windy. Beaten path. Here at Dewey Lake now. Woo! It's a good one. Just walking, trying to find a little less windy spot to have lunch, but man, it is Beautiful. Wow. Fossil Lake here, another alpine lake. This one is just beautiful about the tree line here. Just the epic beaten path. I'm trying to stretch this adventure out into three days, but um, just in about a half day, already gone about 16 miles. It's still very windy up here, but it is really nice. Soaked my feet in the Dewey Lake, which had an epic backdrop of cliffs and some snow. And uh, my Crocs on my back are still doing great. Really enjoying this plateau up by Fossil Lake. It is just incredible. The backdrop here is just unmatched with this alpine lake, some snow on the granite peaks behind it. This is just amazing. A few stats on this hike. Um, it's about 26 miles each way, so it'll be about 52 miles long. Um, I have a, a pot to cook and two liters of water capacity in a Sawyer filter. And in my favorite name of any of the lakes so far, behind me out there is Fizzle Lake. And here we have Skull Lake.
All right, hitting the last lake of the day. Time to start looking for a campsite. Day one is over. Made it to day two on the beaten path and I'm doing this unique style where I wear glasses on my face and sunglasses on my hat just so that I'm prepared for anything. Um, about four miles to the end and we've seen no grizzlies which is immensely disappointing. All right, talk to you from the Cook City side. Kersey Lake out there, pushing it to get to the Cook, si Cook City side before turning around. And then at that point, I'll make some coffee. Powering up this hill. All right, made it to the Clark Fork trailhead. So I've made it one way, about 27 miles, 26 miles. Now to turn around and erase all my hard work and go back. Yay. Three day, 50, 52 mile backpacking trip. Let's take a look at what's in my food bag for this one. Um, I am cooking, going at a moderate pace, not rushing it, just kind of enjoying it. Also making coffee in the morning. So let's see what I'm bringing with me. Well, munching on all these huckleberries, I sure hope makes my mother proud. She always likes to stress the five fruits and vegetables are making the way back from the Clark's Fork trailhead, Cook City side, back up the hill to Fossil Lake. little crossing here of the connection of the two lakes. We're on these uh, piles of rocks. On one side we have water in the middle. We have my feet and on the other side we have more lake. Wow that's a pretty one. Another thing that can happen while backpacking is your feet get wet. Your feet get wet and you keep hiking. That's when you get all wrinkly, torn up, bad things happen. Now, just to show you guys, I got my feet wet about an hour ago. I've walked about three miles on it. Let's see the damage that it's done. Wet feet down here, still packing on some miles. We'll see uh, how wet these things are here in a minute. All right, let's free these little wet sausages. An hour in wet shoes and socks. Oh, wow. So wrinkly. Drag this puppy out. Yikes. So I hope that proves the uh, purpose of foot care and letting your uh, feet dry out. Most importantly, changing socks. It's not even just getting wet. It can even happen just with foot sweat in the desert. I had a lot of problem with this on the Arizona Trail FKT. A number of different ones where pushing hard, feet sweat. Sweaty socks all day and don't take the few minutes to change them. So now you've seen what can result. Torn up foot from the water. 
16 miles in for the day and back at Fossil Lake. Who about 10,000 feet up. Pretty nice day here. About to just go for a swim because why not? Whew. Went all the way down to the Clark's Fork Trailhead from the high point this morning and yesterday evening and now have climbed all the way back up from being at Clark's Fork Trailhead at about mm, 10 a.m. or so. So definitely just erased all that downhill by putting in the uphill back to the high point. I think it is about time for a swim. Pretty hot. Wind is not quite as bad as yesterday. It's actually beautiful. And here lies the epic swimming hole. It's gonna be so cool. I don't know if there were actually fossils here, but we can assume there were. After that swim, it's still like 80 degrees, but wearing my sweatshirt because, wow, are Alpine Lake's cold. That snow melt. In typical fashion of of course something will go wrong. It seems the can of fuel leaked. So we'll see if there's food that's hot tonight. Walking into the nighttime, well, more like the evening of day two, and it's likely I will not have fuel to be cooking dinner, but even so, time to look for a campsite. Well, after two days of huckleberries, there's plenty of evidence. the sunrise of day three. Only like 10 miles left. Very rocky 10. Just like six or seven miles left and had a beautiful walk around Rainbow Lake. It's a gorgeous morning. No wind, no bugs. A little chilly, but kind of nice. Real nice out here. Sun is out, 
It's getting hot. Last maybe five miles of this beaten path out and back and then the path will have been beaten. Just a couple miles from the end, this is where this the uh, river otter was the other day. Looks like he's still sleeping today. All right, beautiful morning though. All right, I see East Rosebud Lake out there. You think as they say in the song, this is the final countdown. All right, I have left the wilderness area. Now to get to the car. The end is in sight. Just gotta make it about halfway around this lake. And then the path has been truly beaten. Success, made it back to the car. The out and back of the beaten path has been beaten. Credits.